Right, how's it going guys? Um, I'm going to be repotting my cannas today. So they've grown, uh, they've got one big leaf and they're on their second. So, and they're really filling out the pot. So I thought it was about time to transplant them so the roots don't get too tangled. Um, 11 have come up. I don't, I don't remember how many I actually sowed. But 11 have come up, so I'm going to transplant them today. Get them out of this small pot. I'm going to be planting them each in these pots. I don't know how big that is maybe three inches across and then keeping them they'll be kept in these um, uh, gravel trays so first things first is try and get them out without damaging them too much because they're quite delicate this is where they will just fall out onto the floor. oh here we go they should stay in one mass because the roots yeah there we go it came out nice and clean and yeah, so the roots aren't too, they're not too tangled, so they should be easy enough to separate. So let me get some soil in my first pot. I'm just using regular potting compost because that's all I have and that's all I would use really for these. Right. Now I've got to try and tease them out. Let's go for this one here. So these, when did I sow these? I sowed these on the 2nd of February and it is now the 23rd. So they've grown a nice size in that in that time. Just hear a couple of roots snapping, but that shouldn't be too bad. There we are. Um, I didn't water them, I haven't watered them today and didn't water them yesterday so that they'd be easier to, to divide up. Um, these are still gonna be staying inside though. They're not gonna come outside just yet it's still a little early it, it doesn't really get that warm in my greenhouse just yet well it's warm when the sun's on it but during the night it's just a bit too cold right here we are just give it a little pat down i don't know how many trays this is gonna fill there we are and that should fill out quite nicely and once I can once I start seeing the roots through the bottom that's when I'll transplant it into a bigger pot just so it doesn't get too uh, root bound inside the pot so let's reuse that I don't want to waste any um, so these are the red canners but because they're so young they're not going to be red just yet so as they mature they'll get um, their colour Try not to damage it too much. There we are. You can see the roots are like quite fibrous. They're still quite, quite young roots. <clears throat> and it will produce a corm or a tuber right down by the base. Um, I have some over there that are saved from last year. Uh, once, I, once I've put all these up, I'll show you those. And they're, they're being overwintered currently. Um, I grew those from seed uh, about four years ago, probably. And I've, I just keep overwintering them in the greenhouse and they stay absolutely fine. But when they're this young, they probably won't survive. Well, they won't survive the winter like the ones in the ground do. Um, these, they can't really be kept outside during the winter. They have to be protected. Um, you can, like, mulch really thick and that, that could give them more protection but I wouldn't risk it with mine personally I just dig them up bring them into the greenhouse and don't water them throughout the the winter and they come up absolutely fine the following year I'll show you those now actually it's gonna be a bit boring just watching me um, pot these all up so let's go over to the cannons Right, so down here is where I keep the canners uh, through the winter. As you can see, it's just really dry. It's a little bit moist under underneath, but you just don't want to water them. If it gets uh, frosty in here and they're all wet, they're just gonna, they've got more chance of rotting. So I keep them nice and dry. Um, there's a whole row of them. And as you can see, they're still green, so they're still healthy. And it's, so it's February now, they'll start shooting probably in about two months time and um, maybe a half a month a month and a half oh here, look here's one that's not actually buried very deep 
as you can see it's still still really solid still healthy looking and then it will shoot well this part looks like it's died there but it will shoot up from these up from here here and it doesn't matter if the roots dry out because all the nutrients and sugars are kept inside this part so that be absolutely fine let's just bury that a little bit though Get that in there. yeah so that's where i keep them during the winter um there's loads of bamboo leaves in here because I have a lot of bamboos growing up the back. Just trying to give you a quick shot of those. Yeah, so I've got the bamboo behind the greenhouse right there. And then up there. Um, right, so let's bring you back around to the potting bench. Well, the this is the storage bench for now. So here I've got all these um, Verbena, Verbena uh, banariensis here, which is the, the purple one, quite popular. I'm sure you would have heard of it. Um, these guys, well, I bought these as rooted cuttings. I bought them about two months ago, probably. I'm gonna wait until it warms up a bit and then I'm gonna cut them. I'll cut them down about here and then they'll shoot up and bush out a lot more. Um, I've got grasses here, these are panicum. Um, Vergatum heavy metal, so I've got six of those, and then I've got one miscanthus here. Doesn't look much at the moment, but in the spring, they'll they'll obviously shoot more. Um, in here, I've got some lambs ears. Uh, these were sown. Maybe maybe I've rooted it on here. Maybe not. Oh, here we go. October October last year they were sown, so I've just sown them in there. Um, Obviously they've not grown very much over the winter, but they're nice and green. And once it starts getting warmer, they'll really shoot up. Um, more Brussels sprouts here. Um, I've got those ones in my propagator that you would have seen in a previous video. They're all growing really nicely, but I just wanted to get some more out. So I've planted one in each cell there, so there's 12 there. Um, in here I've planted my sweet peas, nothing yet. Um, I sowed those a couple of days ago actually, when was it? 18th. Yeah, so about about a week ago. Uh, nothing has come up on those yet. And then down here, got a bit of mess here. Um, this this is a weird pot. So underneath, we've got I've got some um, lilies overwintering. Um, but this pot was right next to my strawberry patch, so I I stuck some runners in. And it's currently being used as storage for the runners. And I'll plant those out in the spring. And also I've got my scotch thistles that have come up. They self-seed everywhere in my garden and I don't have any large ones out for, ready to flower this year. So I'm gonna be picking out some of these. Um, there's loads more here. Also more strawberries in there and another um, lily in there. And this guy has something else in it, but I cannot remember. Maybe I wrote on it. What did I write on it? Salvia? No, I don't think that's the right label for that pot. Maybe we'll see what comes up in that pot over there. Um, yeah, so that's... I've also got... I might as well give you a little tour whilst I'm here. There's a pile of weeds. And then here we've got... Whoops, there's my feet. Here we've got um, some future cuttings that I took at last autumn. Um, they've started to grow, but I think they got hit by frost a little bit. I'll show you this one. So the cuttings are this side and then that one there. And then they've kind of shot up from underneath. So these two shoots have come up from underneath the soil, which is quite, I thought they were quite interesting, but that's really cool. Um, so they, they should become fairly big in the summer. Um, but like, like with these ones, you can see that kind of got hit by a bit too cold. They'd do fine if they were a lot more mature, but they're just so young, so that's why they've really been hit hard. And they're struggling, but they'll come back. They'll come back absolutely fine. Um, that's those. I have in this bucket here, I've got some of my carnivorous plants. So, I don't remember the name of these. These are the Philiformis. I've got two of those. Um, a Pygmy Sundew, and this is a Drosera. Um, Binata, that looks like it says. 
uh, just overwintering at the moment, so. And these pygmy sundews are not looking that nice at the moment, but they'll they'll really come into their own once it starts warming up. And then here I have one of my large plants. I don't know the name of this one. Um, it's just grown too big. I'd, what's this? Oh, that's part of it. Um, I had to move it because we're kind of redoing the garden at the moment. And it, so it's just here for storage at the moment. And then over here, don't worry, this doesn't stay in my greenhouse all year round. This is a red currant bush. And I had to move that because I was renovating the garden. And that's, that's all that's it. Well, I've got one, um, Bellis perennis down there. It's like a, the large flowering variety. Is it called Bellis perennis galanthus? Yeah. I think it is the Galanthus one. Um, large white and pink flowers on that. And that's the only, one that, the only one that overwintered. I did have loads of them planted in here in the summer and this little guy overwintered. So I'll probably plant him out once it gets a bit warmer outside. And then we're back to the potting bench. Yeah, so I'm gonna pop these all up and then I will. Right, so I've just finished planting them up. So we've got eight in this tray, only three in this tray. Um, this is going to be kept on a sunny windowsill. I'm going to kindly, uh, nicely ask my brother. Hopefully he'll say yes, because my windowsill is completely full up. Um, yeah, so I'll give them a nice water, and they're going to be kept inside probably until maybe April, May. So I'll keep you guys updated, and I'll have another video coming very soon, I'm sure. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all soon.